Well, folks, it is officially tournament morning. And uh, I don't know about these two, but I am stoked. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Uh, we got an idea of where to start. And uh, it's, we got about 15 minutes to kick off. Put in here at Mud Island. We're fishing. You guys can see the Mud Island bridge behind us. Beautiful scenery. We're going to start right here, uh, bumping in some 30, mid 30 range uh, water. And we had the wing dikes where we where we started actually Wednesday. So, got some solid fish here. Hopefully, get some fish in the live well and just have a good start and make adjustments as we go throughout the day. So, you guys ready? Let's go catch a fish. That's a good fish. Here it comes. Alright, kick control motor back in. Good fish. Good start. Good job. Good job, Nick. Oh, good, 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 good fish. Killed the motor. All Killed right. The motor. Just keep tension on him and don't pump too hard. He's running good at me. Keep real hard. I think I'm going to bring this one back. Okay, that's fine. Okay. See leader. Ready? Ooh, Nick. Shh, that was not bad. Ooh, Good Nick. one? No. No. I should bring too fast. Point two. I'm hard to put any okay. pressure on my college heater rear. Perfect. 
where I'm on. See a tail. I think he's 
Wendy? No. It's way in time, folks, and we are getting ready to go through the weigh-in line here at the Bass Pro. Uh, had a good day. Uh, you can't complain. 
whenever all you catch is fish over 20 pounds, uh, we took that one that we thought was an under, had it checked, and unfortunately it wasn't over, over by just a quarter of an inch, but it is what it is in the way. Yep. Yeah. So, we fished hard all day and yeah. just could not find that underfish. <laughs> not too many times in my fishing do I go looking for small fish. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can say the same thing. Yep. But today uh, we had to. And uh, unfortunately, we couldn't find a fish under 20 pounds, under 34 inches. Um, throughout the week, I think you heard us numerous times talk about, you know, how important it was to have good unders. And today it showed itself. Uh, you know, we'll have about 80-ish pounds with uh, Larry's big fish being 50 and mine being uh, 30, 32, something like that. And, you know, that fish would took us up if we had another 10 pounds, 15 pounds, who knows? We'll just have to see at the end of the results. So we're gonna go through the weigh-in line and then uh, see what happens. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. So they're, they're, they care for the conservation of these catfish just as well as these anglers, and we do as tournament directors. So, all right. So next boat up, we got boat number 77. We got Slugger Cat Outdoors with Chris Sawyer. Chris Sawyer, uh, he has multiple different avenues of uh, social media. Yes, he does. You know, he's one of the innovators to start all the social media stuff. He's got YouTube, TikTok. He's got all of them. So you guys give, uh, give him a follow. I'll try to get down there. Well, when I first heard of Chris Satters, he'd come in as a flathead angler. I mean, that's how I learned about Chris Satters on YouTube. He was catching some muscle flatheads. Oh, look at that, man. He's got, a, got two good things right there. Look at it. Oh, watch your glasses. Watch your hat. That <laughs> is exciting to see these. check a fish, which is very respectable. So we went down, he was just over that 34 inch mark we was telling you guys about. They done the right thing, they released the fish. So they brought two, so it was hard time to get another under day, right guys? All right, still a respectable bag here. All right, boy, well, we got a total weight of boat number 77 at 80.22 pounds. 80.22 yeah. fish, oh. yeah, that's good. Hey, All right, boat number Well, folks, we are just finishing up the weigh-in. Uh, we ended up with like 80 pounds. Um, to me, I call it a success. Even though we didn't win, um, we didn't finish in the top money. It's not always about that. And I know somebody is going to say that that's kind of a cop-out thing to say, but it's it's truly not. Um, I got to spend a week with two of the best guys and friends that that I consider to be good friends and uh, got to fish with them and have a good time and share memories and uh, fish a tournament. So uh, thank you guys for coming along with me and putting up with me filming the whole week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, we got some good footage as you guys uh, can see, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed these videos. Uh, hopefully you got value out of these videos. And if this is your first time watching these videos, um, this is the Mississippi River Tournament last one, but go back and watch the previous ones. Uh, shared a lot of memory or a lot of information leading up to uh, tournament day. So it was a lot of fun and 
Let's fix that. Maybe. There we go. So it was a lot of fun, and um, yeah, hope to do it again. So, again, thank you guys for watching. As always, God bless, tight lines, and we will catch you on the water.